if this goes on for a while, some of the AMLA 200 firms um, will fail. In navigating through the 2008 crisis, the primary lever the firms pulled then was to fire people. People are behaving better this time around. I believe at last count there were about 37 law firms among the AMLA top 100 that have announced some form of cost-cutting measure. The firms that are taking actions do tend to be somewhat less profitable on a profits per partner basis than the firms uh, that have done uh, nothing. Some are looking at headcount reductions, both uh, lawyers and staff. Some are looking at mandatory furloughs. By and large, associate hiring is really put on hold. Almost all have cut their partner draws. These cuts they're hoping are temporary. They're doing this to shore up cash. Law firms are unlike most other businesses. Law firms never have retained earnings. They pay out the, all the profits to the partners every December 31st. Cash is oxygen. So if you run out of cash, it's game over, it's lights out. If you look at the law firm collapses of the past few decades, uh, whether it's Brobeck or Thielen or Dewey or any of these law firms that went under, basically their problem was they ran out of cash. We started seeing a lot of law firms coming in for uh, increase in their lines of credit. The number of transactions that we had uh, was in six weeks equal to what we do probably in about nine months. There is a handful of firms that I worry about. Their performance wasn't going in the right direction even before the crisis, and they appear to be less resilient during the crisis. And the ones that are the slowest right now are real estate first, M&A, most of the transactional practices, frankly. Tax is also slow. In terms of uh, affecting the top, top firms, I think we would need to see a very sustained period of uh, economic uh, recession, six months or longer. You would also want to see a lack of corresponding pickup in practices like bankruptcy or litigation, a drying up in M&A work. I don't think any of the firms that we didn't have a concern about prior to the COVID situations are uh, all of a sudden sitting in the center for us in terms of risks. Now, if you and I have this conversation three months from now, it might be a different answer. I think one question that really can't be overlooked is what happens to the industry's young talent. Firms are very much committed after what happened in 2018 to make sure that they don't lose that talent in the pipeline. But what that looks like after a few months this year is anybody's guess. So what's big law gonna look like in a few years? This is not the newspaper industry. <laughs> the long run demand for sophisticated legal services globally is gonna be very healthy. Prior to this crisis, there was already a bifurcation in the industry happening where the top five to 10% of law firms were pulling away from their peers. And, and many industry experts expect that this situation will only exacerbate that. A lot of practices are gonna benefit in a big way from this. I think the future is extremely bright for law firms generally coming out of this.